What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with the club packs breakdown and deep dive, I suppose I'm going to call these videos because that's what they are. So this is basically if you have bought the, the club pack. I know I've done an overview of them all, but I'll keep it short and sweet, I promise, because there isn't much to talk about in these club packs if you've got a good squad or you've got a good team, right? Most notably, you're probably going to want to check out a couple of the players and that's it. And we're going to give you the thumbs up here in a second as to what players are worth it and what players aren't worth it. If you are still on the fence whether to buy these packs or not, this is what you get. You get a, a legendary manager or a booster manager, uh, Thomas Tuchel, and he's going to play um, out wide and he's also going to have a coaching affinity for players over five star player value, right? We also have with that a plus one to his physical contact player stat which will tie in nicely with this squad so all of these builds that you're about to see on screen here for all of these players are probably the best builds within this formation and within these tactics playing with Tuchel as the manager so it's not really for mix and matching and there is different builds you could do for that but this is literally you just buy the pack you play exactly what you have here right so very very quickly I'm going to say here are the two best players of the pack Kimmich and Davies and I'd also give a thumbs up to Kim and to Goretzka. The rest of the players, lads, yeah, Harry Kane and Sané are quite decent, but there's been multiple versions of them. I don't think that they're worth buying this pack for. And also, up in Meccano and Coleman have a lot of uh, issues as well. Yes, they can be beastly for you. I've no doubt, listen, anyone you know, could make me be a liar if you buy this pack and it's like, oh, but Meccano is my best ever defender. He's a beast. All of these players can be good apart from the goalkeeper, I would say, and Thomas Muller. Um, but this is what I would recommend if you are thinking of buying this pack. That is kind of where I would go with it, right? So as we go over to eFootballDB.com, we are going to take a look at the builds. So this is the build that I have for him here. As you can see, we've got up in Meccano, and he's going to have 7 into defending, 11 into dexterity, 4 into lower body, and 3 into aerial strength. He's going to get the 3 plus boost with Tuchel here of put it at 90. And this is, if you are using him as your kind of mobile defender, he will get the boost there to nearly 74 with that if you want to. But to be honest with you, I would probably take this down to 68 and then pop 4 more into defending to have all of these defensive stats just be an absolute beastly uh, defender because he does have some nice player skills, but he is down his build up. So just make sure you keep an eye on that. He does have brilliant player skills. Um, and as well as that, he isn't really, in my opinion, a top tier defender um, apart from his legend card that they released before. Uh, Kimmich is probably one of the picks of him, an absolute beast. There's his build there. So four into, dexter into dexterity, nine into lower body and aerial strength, and six into defending and passing. Again, I must stress that this is genuinely just for the build that we have here with Thomas Tuchel as a full-up manager if you're playing a full Bayern squad or a club squad. Uh, I do like his aggression. Probably don't need to go that high on it, but you know you don't need to go much higher than that with the passing. You could pop two into dribbling if you wanted to. Kimmich is, is down as uh, orchestrator in this one. He does have one touch pass and he does have some uh, nice, really nice player skills. But I would be using Kimmich as part of my central spine. So I'd have an anchor man or a destroyer behind him, mopping up everything. And then I'd have Kimmich kind of orchestrating as kind of like a defensive Kevin De Bruyne type player that can spray passes around the place, but still defend, right? We also have Harry Kane. We've gone mad with his offensive awareness finishing and... Um, Physical contact, that's going to go to an 85. Kicking power is really nice as well. But just a little bit slow if you're not used to playing with a target man. He's not the easiest to play with, right? But that is the build that we've gone with there. With 9 into shooting, 1 into dribbling, 13 into dexterity, 4 into lower body, and 6 into aerial strength. You can pause the videos at any time, lads, if you want. Davies is also a pick of the pack. He's definitely worth if you have a lot of coins and saying, look, I want to guarantee getting Kimmich and I want to guarantee getting Davies. These are really good versions of the cards. If you play them to their strengths, tight possession is an issue with all of these club packs for some reason. All the tight possession stats seems to be quite low. But again, you're going to have a speed 95. You're going to have 93 acceleration. You're also going to have 80 physical contact with the boost. And balance and stamina is going to be good with dribbling. And defensively, he's going to be very solid with tackling and aggression. I like this card quite a lot. Davies is one of the best left backs in the game. Kim, very similar to Up and Meccano. 12 into defending, 5 into aerial strength, 6 into dexterity, not a bad card at all. And of course, you're also going to get that boost acceleration. So you're going to have 90 tackling, 92 defensive awareness, 89 aggression, and 87 defensive engagement. And that's without the manager boost. So you are going to have 90 physical contact as well with the boost, and over 90 in three of those stats. 
uh, from the defense as well as over 75 speed and 75 acceleration so he's a bit of a beast just a couple of frailties in this card a little bit uh, positioning wise he seems to do a couple of mad things right moving on we don't have Musiala uh, which is a bit of a bust on this pack I would say Musiala they should have given Musiala like a really like a 98 overall version to make it worthwhile and I think the Bayern pack would have been insane but they are missing a couple of players right and the players that are here they're they're not that great lads I'll be honest with you they're not that good obviously they're good for newcomers but for people that have been playing for a while uh, they're not that good and this guy kind of sums it up yes he's going to have 88 dribbling and speed and acceleration they'll all go into the 90s but the rest of his stats are just kind of average and he's just kind of a, a kind of a Swiss army knife type player he does a lot of different jobs but he doesn't specialize in anything we also have Sané he he kind of has that issue as well look at balance there it's not too bad tie possession is not too bad but he can't pass he can't shoot and you can get very similar on the standard gp marketplace if you haven't already but look he's rapid fast and he does have some good finishing there with 75 dribbling 93 acceleration 96 balance is quite okay as well and he's got some good player skills with one touch pass he's down as a prolific winger the whole player sane this one was always the best that was the best version of sane that they ever released let me just close this that was the best version of sane that they ever released ever and um, that was down as a whole player he's an absolute insane beast right but he's not doesn't compare to this one we also have kingsley coleman and his tight possession is a big issue when he gets pushed off the ball because he doesn't have that physical contact each either but each of his stats there dribbling speed acceleration and balance all of them are going to be above 90 so you know exactly you know what you're going to get and then of course we have Goretzka. So Goretzka is one of my favorite box to box. Slightly overshadowed because of the nerfs he's gotten over the last couple of weeks, but still a very viable option. And I would say that if you are a newcomer, Goretzka is probably one of the best center mids that you can have to learn the mechanics of the game and learn when and to keep the ball and when to get rid of the ball, right? There's the build for him. 5, 7, 10, 4, 4, 6. Uh, you can pause that at any time. And then last but not least, we have Thomas Muller who is tipping on now what age is he 30 34 now really good player skills he's got track back as well there's the build we have him 7 10 11 5 and 1 for shooting passing dribbling dexterity and lower body very very solid player but just super slow lads super super slow very 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 poor at speed i would just be putting counter target on him and putting him as an ss and literally just shooting on sight he's like a slow del piero or a slow dybala that's kind of what he's playing as right so that is it for me 1500 coins for that let me know what you guys think if you have bought the byron pack i think it's disappointing i genuinely do think it's disappointing pack but let me know what your thoughts are lads obviously we're going a very very big deep dive on these whether or not they're worth it but we've already covered every other pack in this and we will be buying a pack on live stream and testing it out in real time as well um but let me know your thoughts so that is it for me i will talk to you in a little bit don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content and i'll talk to you in a bit